Hey guys, and welcome to Leopold the Brave Reviews, the show where I review a thing. Now, I've reviewed stuff before, but they didn't really have a format, a structure, effort. So I'm trying again. And I figured a good way to start out would be with one of my favorite Disney movies, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Now, let me just say that this is not your average Disney movie. Prepare for some pretty dark themes if you watch it. But the story is basically about a deformed man by the name of Quasimodo, quote-unquote, being taken care of by a dark man named Frollo. Frollo raises Quasimodo to believe that because of his deformity, he is some kind of monster that needs to be hidden away from humanity in the bell tower. But all that, plus the views about himself, soon change once he sneaks out to the Feast of Fools and meets the Gypsy Esmeralda. Despite being told by Frollo that these people are evil and cunning liars, Quasimodo receives nothing but kindness from this Gypsy woman. And once Frollo catches wind of Quasimodo's interactions with the Gypsies, he goes completely mad and wages war on Notre Dame to find them all and crush them. So then it's up to Quasimodo, Esmeralda, and Captain Phoebus is there too, I guess, to stop Frollo and bring peace between the Gypsies and the citizens of Notre Dame. That's pretty much the story. Now one thing I really like about this movie is how it handles religion. There is a lot of Catholicism in this movie, and Judge Claude Frollo the villain is the absolute worst of it. But it appears that our protagonists Quasimodo and Esmeralda have the same beliefs as well, despite the fact that Frollo does and he's evil. The priest especially doesn't put up with Frollo's garbage, and it's awesome. Frollo, you will not touch her. Don't worry. Minister Frollo learned years ago to respect the sanctity of the church. But anyways, the point is, I like how it shows different sides of the belief, and how they point out that Frollo's side is the corrupted by man side. There are no generalizations here. They make a clear message that the evil in people does not come from what they believe, but how poorly they follow those beliefs and rely on their own self-righteousness instead. In the world today, everything is generalized. Beliefs, races, etc. And this movie has a lesson that they all need to hear. But once again, this movie is dark. Expect to see some blood, murder, swearing, okay it's mild swearing, but swearing is swearing. And of course, getting all touchy-feely. This is an unholy demon. I'm sending it back to hell where it belongs. D. Damnation? E. Eternal damnation. Good. The animation is fantastic though, one of the best looking movies in the Disney Renaissance. Frollo especially has some very interesting and horrifying facial expressions animated. I will go ahead and say though that one of the problems I have with this movie is one that everyone has, the gargoyles. Now I'm not as hard on them as most people, I don't care that they're comedic reliefs, I don't care that they break the tone of the movie, I don't even care that they're real instead of just in Quasimodo's head. My problem with them comes from the fact that they NEVER SHUT UP! Seriously, whenever they are on screen there's almost never a second of silence even when they're not telling a joke. The opening scene where we are introduced to them along with Quasimodo is one of the most intolerable scenes in the entire movie. Even the song they have pales in comparison to the rest of the soundtrack. Whew, okay. On to one more thing that bugged me, and then that's it. No more problems with the movie. Now, Quasimodo falls in love with Esmeralda, but a bit of the ways through the movie, she falls in love with Captain Phoebus and kisses him. Then, when Esmeralda needs to be saved, this happens. What? What am I supposed to do? Go out there and rescue the girl from the, from the jaws of death and the whole town will cheer like I'm some kind of a hero? She already has her knight in shining armor, and it's not me. This is a good scene that shows Quasimodo's great character. He lashes out, calms down, the gargoyles didn't even have to say a word, and he changes his mind. Later on in the movie though, when all hope seems lost, this happens. So you're giving up? That's it? These chains aren't what's holding you back, Quasimodo. Leave me alone. Ugh, I hate when movies do this to make it more dramatic. The protagonist acts out of character and lashes out in anger, <gasps> surprised gasp, <gasps> guilt trip quote, <gasps> guilted into motivation! In the end though, that's nothing more than a nitpick, it's just a trope that I really dislike. The movie as a whole is fantastically written, beautifully animated, filled to the brim with amazing songs and great characters, there's an incredible lesson and I definitely recommend that you all check it out now if you haven't. The Hunchback of Notre Dame gets an A-. Yeah, gonna write these like school papers.